Oh, dinky do, everybody. It's just me, Sonny Babu, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. I just thought I'd pop up to say hi to every single one of you and see what's happening. A quick catch up, of course. Now, I know you've got many, many other things you'll be up to, and I haven't given you any warning. So, random pop up, and we'll just see who's about. A bit like from the movie Crocodile Dundee, you know, when he goes out with the, the telephone and goes, ooh, 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 and he says, let's just see who's about. So there you are. So it's just me, Scotty McClue, as I say, first lord of the internet and the one-stop broadcaster popping up to see every single one of you. little while since we've done a live pop-up, and uh, it's great to be with you, of course. So do get in touch here. Do let us know what's happening. This is Thomas Hamilton. Hello, pal. I hope you've had a good weekend, an absolutely cracking weekend. Thanks, Tom. And lovely of you to ask, of course. Excellent stuff. There's um, Tony Max saying, good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Tony. Um, John Boyle, hi, Scotty. How are you doing? Stephen Dodds is watching Dinky Doo TV. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening, Scotty. Have you had a good weekend? Hope you're well, matey. And Dinky Doo says the wonderful Richard Hill. Thanks very much for that, Richard. Very, very much appreciated. As I say, just a quick pop-up to keep in touch with everything that's going on. And, of course, we're live on the world's top broadcasting platform, Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everybody seems to be on. How fantastic that there are massive, massive plans afoot, of course, for the Scotty McClue show. If you're just joining us, dinkly do. How the devil are you, China? Says Stephen Dodds. Good evening, says Trish McLaren. Good to see you, says the wonderful Gordon Roddick. Dinky do, Gordon. Lovely to know you're out there, and I hope you're well and having an excellent Christmas and New Year. Top of the season to you all, and a very happy new year for those of you who I haven't actually seen. Can you say hello to Anne-Marie, please, says Thomas Hamilton. Of course we can. Hello, Anne-Marie, a dinky do from Scotty McClue. Mr. and Sunday Nights, it's not the same without you on Facebook Live. So lovely to have you back with us. Who's that? Tony, uh, Laurie Calfolla, dinky do, Andy McCrory, dinky do. Good for the heart, says John Boyle. Oh, things are good for the the heart. Excellent stuff. Big good for the hearts. The old jambos. This is our story. This is our song. Um, we need you back on the radio, Scotty, says Charlie Andrews. I know, Charlie. We need to sort that out, but there are discussions going on, so never, ever, ever give up hope. McClue is always with you. Dinky do, I say to every single one of you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, quick Sunday night pop-up, just to say hi, a little break from the telly. Uh, hi, Sauce, this is John Hamlin. Hi, John. And Dinky Do, Bertha King Patton. Welcome, 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 I say. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure live here on Facebook Live just for you, Dinky Do. Now, there have been developments. Uh, what do you think of Prince Harry and his wife separating from the royals? Says Erica Meyer. If that's what they want to do, then um, no problem, Erica. But we'd, it'd be quite interesting to know about the ins and outs of it, what was behind it, what was their thinking, etc., etc. But I believe, I believe that they're, they're off to Canada, and I did hear that there was an earthquake in Canada. Was it yesterday? Um, so there we are. Clive Garrard is watching. Garrard or Gerard? Garrard, I shall say, Clive, if I may. How's your dog doing, pal? Says Thomas Hamilton. Not bad at all. He's in his 14th year, Tom, and he's just been out for a long walk, wagging the tail. And, of course, there's a wee dog that took a stroke about 10 years ago, a fibrocartilaginous embolism. But I just tell people it's a stroke because it's easier to explain. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Champion of the bit for you to get the radio again, says Stevie Dodds. Yes, and there's Gemma and marie McRae watching Dink you do, Gemma and marie McRae, who um, befriended me yesterday. Wonderful stuff. Guys, if you can all follow me on Facebook as well, there's several pages doing the rounds at the moment, and I would like you to follow them all, because then we're in touch if I don't manage to befriend you. Uh, evening, Mr. 
I hope you will. Says Michael Paul McVeigh, Gemma and Marie McRae says, Good evening. How are you and your dog doing? A dinky do. Dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty, all listening in Falkirk. Come on, the Bairns, says the wonderful Paul Cruikshank. Gary Murphy is watching. Dinky do, Gary. Good to have you with us. I'll do a bit of sharing and see if we can get this round now. Very important. Uh, keep that going. Now, <clears throat> there have been developments in McClue land, of course. TikTok. I don't know if I've heard of TikTok. TikTok, I certainly have, and Scotty McClue is now massive on TikTok at Scotty McClue. Get yourselves on their Instagram, of course, Scotty McClue One. I would quite like one million followers on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram and you're not following Scotty McClue, get following Big Style. Uh, ben Lucas is watching. Thank you, dude. He's looking good for 14 pals, says Thomas. He's not bad at all, Thomas. He's a wee gem of a dog. That's what he is. Now, uh, let's see what's happening here. Keep everything going, I say. Very, very important. Oh, there we are. I'll just do a bit of sharing, share, and we'll share out and just put live now. There we are. Excellent stuff. Live now. Live now. Can you all share as well? Get this round there. Let everybody know what is happening, guys. Very, very important. I'll put it out on the old timeline there. And uh, not been listening for a while because I've not been in great health. Not been listening for a while, I think she means. Gemma and Marie McRae, because I've not been in great health. Now, strength to you, Gemma and Marie McRae. We want you to be in great health. Excellent stuff. Danny Joe is watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And here I go with the sharing. Oh, my goodness. I've got all this here. This is fantastic. Right. No, we're not starting a watch party. We're just... Sharing with everybody. Wonderful. Excellent stuff. <clears throat> and uh, Peter Lockwood, hi. Nice to hear you. And you, Peter. Good to know you're out there, I say. Good to see you on Facebook, pal. I miss the radio, says Thomas Hamilton. I know. We must get the radio back and get it sorted. I think it's love songs they've got on just now. But, of course, it should be Scotty McClue. But there's all sorts of things happening. We're on TikTok now. We're on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue and uh, we're on Facebook I want lots and lots of followers if you see a Scotty McClue page there's about um, half a dozen of them then uh, if you can follow and follow and follow and click like on the pages as well wonderful stuff so there we go right that's that getting shared out there excellent stuff and uh, there's one we made earlier 24,268 are watching that. How fantastic is that? Peter Dale Nevins, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, I shall just get this shared. I'm just going to keep sharing, guys, till we get it round. Let everybody know that we are live. Now, uh, share to a page. I'll share to the big Scotty McClue page, of which there's about five and a half thousand of you on there as well. Good evening, Mr. McClue. When are you back in the wireless, says Neil Mills Jr. Wonderful. Are you coming back on Radio Scotty? I miss you. Mark Gippert or Gippert. I'm going to call you Gippert, aren't I, Mark? Because I think that's what we agreed on. Was that right? Have I got that correct? So there we are. Excellent stuff. And um, I'm th looking around for the best platform to uh, do regular broadcasts on to build up the show. You're concerned about the coronavirus, Scotty. What, do you think our country is able to deal with this? Well, we've certainly got... Um, incredible medics in Scotland. If you think about it, Scotland has always been miles and miles ahead. So there we are. We've got virological, uh, top virological people. We've got, um, uh, we had uh, James Simpson that invented the anaesthetic, Sir Alexander Fleming, of course, and uh, Sir John Crofton, who uh, did the streptomycin and virtually wiped out TB. Fantastic 
think 16 and a half million people, I think they cured with that. So Scotland is always pretty much ahead of the game. Good evening, Scotty, says Ian Whitelaw. Aye, aye, having a party on Friday for breakfast. For Brexit. For breakfast. For breakfast. For Brexit. No, I think, Neil Mills Jr., the way it's been done, uh, you know, the fact that we're dragging four countries out of the European Union, Three of them, against their will, of course, on a 2.5 million majority, affecting almost 70 million people. And, all, I mean, we won't be leaving the EU on Friday anyway. We'll not be leaving the EU for about another year, so we'll be in the uh, customs union, we'll be in the single market. Nothing will actually really change there at all. So uh, I think perhaps we should maybe declare a national day of mourning. If it doesn't work out, is there any kind of mechanism for us to slip back into the EU? I wonder. I would be looking at that if I was a senior politician. Scotty, make sure you have blue ticked your pages. I came across a few fakers, says Michael Paul McVeigh. All oh, right. Blue ticked my pages. Excellent stuff. Hi, Scotty. Hope you're good, says the wonderful Alexander Hunter. <coughs> so there we are. So I wondered if we should have maybe a couple of minutes silence on Friday around 11 o'clock just so we can reflect on our mistake. There we are. That's my thinking. It depends what you think, but I'm basing it on sound economic and political sense because we don't have any other trade deals set up and it makes us very vulnerable as well, I would say. So there you are, vulnerable to a kind of semi-takeover by another power. Uh, remember, we were nearly bust before we went into the EU. Scotty, make sure you've... Uh, oh, yes, we've done that one. Hi, Scotty, I'm listening in from Shots. Long time no here, says the wonderful Andy Hughes. Didn't you do, Andy? And love to Shots. I can remember going to the Shots Highland Games. Do you still have the Shots Highland Games? What do you think of Harry and Meghan and the Royals? Well, of course, I love the Royal family. I think they're absolutely outstanding. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful work. I don't fall for any of that. They're taking money and all that stuff. So there you are. So um, I'm afraid I am a bit of a royalist along with most other switched on people. And of course, the Scottish crown is very important. If we do ever look at independence, we need to take the monarchy with us. Um, you're looking very well, Scotty, says Alexander Hunter. Thank you, Alexander. <coughs> Wonderful stuff. Now, sharing and sharing and sharing. I'll just put live now, live now and get this out there. Wonderful. Live now and clickety-click. There we are. Wonderful stuff. Um, who else have we got here? Fantastic. Oh, that's the way it should be. Sean Gowdy is watching us. Scotty, a wee question. Do you still listen to vinyl records? Yes, I do. I've got a collection of them here. And uh, I've done uh, 50 years of BBC religious broadcasting one night and heard all these um, incredible preachers. So they are from a way back. Very, very interesting. All that sort of stuff. As you know, McClure is interested in everything. So there you are. Uh, Scotty, what's your thoughts on the Donald's impeachment? Very interesting. Two schools of thought there going either way. I mean, Donald has certainly shaken the game up a bit. You know, I'm not sure um, if he would be my cup of tea, but I don't know him. So we'll have to see what comes out. How many presidents have been impeached before? Is it two of them or something like that? So there you are. So so we'll be seeing. Um, you know, I seem to remember uh, people weren't terribly happy with uh, Bill Clinton um, after the fall from grace. Uh, no, they stopped the Highland Games last year in shots, Scotty. Oh, my goodness me. These wonderful pipe bands that used to come from all the works and from the mines and that sort of stuff. Kilsyth Colliery had a pipe band. Muirhead and Sons. All these wonderful people. Uh, Chris Kennedy, Dinky Doo. Uh, do you think come um, the new theatre in Cumbernauld you'll still do your shows? Gemma and Marie McRae, I think it's time for me to get out there and do some shows. I really do. Excuse me a wee second. Uh, very warm in the studio tonight, so I may stop occasionally. 
just for a wee comfort break, that sort of thing. Excellent stuff. But no, I think I should get out there. Remember Sir John Mills, the great actor, Sir John Mills, the late Sir John Mills. Johnny, marvellous man. And uh, I saw him on television when he was about 90, and he was in some theatre production in... Um, Lancashire, I think it was, I was down in Lancashire at the time, and watching the local television channel there. And, uh, you know, the, the, the girl that was interviewing said, so John, why are you doing this? You know what I mean? And he said, um, because I think actors need to be frightened. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful film actor. They are brilliant. Love vinyl. The first one I bought was John Miles' Stranger in the City. What was your first vinyl record? Well, Alexander Hunter, I can go back a bit more. I bought Stranger in the Shore, Acker Bilk, stuff like that. The theme from Z Cars, the theme from Dr. Kildare. You went down, there were about seven and sixpence in the, the record shop, and you thumbed through all the records. You could ask them to play one for you to try it. And uh, I'm trying to remember how much an album was, I wonder if it was 19 and 6, would that be right, for a 33 and a third long player. Trump's the third. So there we are. Um, oh, amazing stuff. So there we go. Right. My goodness me, Tony. We'll see. Well, the others weren't actually impeached. Well, the Nixon was. Uh, so there we are. Uh, here's uh, Chris Kennedy. Impeachment should be over this time next week. Scotland for Trump. So there you are. So there's somebody who's a big fan of the Donald. Of course, he's half Scottish, isn't he? His mother was a Scot. Uh, Stephen Dodds, one thing about you, Scotty, you're always getting out there. Respect. No, I think it's very important. A, a dear friend of mine said recently, he said, nobody phones in, so we might as well phone out. I like that. So there you go. Uh, also, I'm thinking about getting a burner phone and uh, we can maybe get a phone in going. Uh, awesome. That's brilliant, says Alexander Hunter. Ah, yes. You see, I could tell you all about that. We had two music shops where I was brought up. I was brought up in, uh, in Greenock. And there was two music shops there, and uh, wonderful. And you could buy instruments as well. And if you needed your piano tune, the piano tuner came out from the music shop, and they did the records. You had quite a collection, and it was the thing to have a big collection. But of course, a lot of them got scratched, particularly if they were put on at parties and things like that. Danny McNeil's watching. Thank you, Danny. Lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome. Scotty McClue popping up live for you just to say dinky do now um we're doing quite a lot of sharing here so i'm just sharing to a group wonderful um what have we got there yes we'll share to a group and uh, tell everybody we're live now let them all know excellent stuff so quick pop up scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet the one-stop broadcaster if you've just joined us a very very warm welcome and a guy yesterday said hey you're, you're looking a bit older now scotty i said really well i am 35 and i've had a very very hard life uh, my first final was the muppet show uh, as a kid i think if you call someone a muppet now, it's an insult. The Muppets are fantastic. Lou Grade down in Birmingham got the Muppets when other companies had turned them down. Same with um, Super Mario Nation, Thunderbirds, Fireball XL5, um, Captain Scarlet and the Mr. Ons, Stingray, um, all these wonderful Super Mario Nation. And um, they were turned down, but Lou Grade, Lord Grade, who was at ATV, and in those days, ITV, 15 companies, and we all joined up, ran it to the second. There's a gentleman watching right now that ensured it ran to the second. Fantastic stuff. And um, as somebody once said, if Lou Grade had been alive today, Scotty McClue would never be off our television screens. Isn't that lovely? I thought that was a really, really nice thing to say. And uh, the other lovely, lovely thing is I would love to have been at the BBC when Bill Cotton was there, who um, brought on shows like 
Morecambe and Wise and um, Dad's Army, that stuff. And he was the son of Billy Cotton, the band leader. And when I was very young, on I think it was a Saturday night, you had the Billy Cotton Band Show, and he used to come on and shout, Wakey, wakey! ra da 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 Daddy, fantastic stuff. So there we are. Gemma Anne Marie McRae is about to start typing. She's gone, my first record, W-O. So I think she'll sort that, and then we can see what is what. Just going to share to the Scotty McClure group. Get everybody on here. Type that up. Scotty. Marvellous stuff. So there we go. Ah, Scotty. And thank you to all of you for all your wonderful shares and sharing and sharing and telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. My first record was Shaky Stevens. I used to like him, Shaken Stevens. Yes, Jim Anne Marie McRae. Uh, Anglia TV, I remember, says Michael Paul McRae. Yes, Anglia, wonderful company down there in Norwich. So there we are. I can remember a friend of mine when I was continuity announcing for ITV, for Scottish Television, for Grampian Television in Aberdeen, Border Television in Carlisle. And I remember going down to a audition for Thames Television and, uh, oh, marvellous, and TVS down the south coast at Maidstone. I went down to audition for TVS as well. And a friend of mine said, uh, ah, it's lovely to see you on the television. He said, um, I did um, go in for a job uh, doing that at Anglia, but they thought I looked like an actor. There we are. And I, I, I love that. I, I know what they meant, but you wonder, well, what does an actor look like? Uh, Gemma, my sister, had all his albums when she was younger. Big fan. She was a dinky doo. Ian cares what? Welcome, Ian. Lovely to have you with us, and a warm welcome to Scotty McLeod's Sunday Night Pop-Up live on Facebook Live. Great discussion about IDV tonight. What television company were you brought up watching? Do tell, I say. Right, this group, you're keeping me off my machine here. Scotty, wonderful. Scotty McLeod fan group for fans of Scotty McClue. Surprise, surprise. And I shall just tell them all that we're live now. Live now. When's the best time for a pop-up for you guys? I know we discuss this occasionally. There's a wonderful guy. Gordon Stirling, a man we haven't heard of for some time. I usually like when Gordon puts his tuppence worth in. And the man is a walking encyclopedia when it comes to motoring, to buses. Did you ever, have you ever heard of the link lines, Gordon? I'll tell you a story in a minute. Uh, George and Mildred still going on TV today. My wife loves it. It's class, as well as Faulty Towers. Faulty Towers, I loved hearing John Cleese telling the story about where they got the idea for Faulty Towers. <laughs> they stayed at a hotel, and um, the guy at the hotel was just like Basil Faulty. And um, some of them were staying at posh hotels, and they stayed at this little hotel. And um, when they went up to the counter, the guy was still writing his books saying, Yes, what is it? You know, and they said, Could you call me a taxi, uh, please? And you want me to call you a taxi? Oh, all right then. <laughs> Wonderful stuff, isn't it? Uh, Scotty, don't you think it's time for a 24-hour Scottish talk radio station? Just like Talk 107 in Edinburgh. Yes, I mean, if it's properly set up and carefully run, it would do very, very well. So there you are. But I just wish, and I don't mean this in any arrogant way at all. I mean this even more humbly than usual. I just wish they would come for me when they're setting up these stations and talk to me first. So there we are. You find that nobody comes and asks you something. And um, I suppose after 36 years of media, I should be something of an expert having set up radio stations 
in Scotland. So there we go. Uh, yes, I saw you in a YouTube clip when TV closed down early in the 80s. I remember my mum and dad got BSB TV. Yes, wonderful. Satellites, tremendous. Uh, Scotty, uh, yes, so the answer to that, Neil Mills, is yes, there should be a Scottish top radio station. There should be a lot more Scottish media. It shouldn't just be satellite stations of southern media because it's not reflecting the way the Scots are. It's trying to tell the Scots how to think, right? Uh, how Dean Park used to be in Radio Clyde and play the Pavilion. Absolutely, Dean Park, wonderful, wonderful performer. Great friend of mine, lovely guy. And, uh, of course, a great stage performer as well, but terrific on the radio. And um, he and I used to do um, uh, head-to-heads, two headers, um, when he was on, I think it was your radio station in central Scotland. Fantastic. And we loved him in Radio Clyde. When I used to do my Kayleigh on Radio Clyde, we'd be um, promoting Dean's shows Terrific stuff, wonderful. So there we are. There's a huge history of Scottish entertainment. Scottish television, of course, being the trailblazer at the time with the wonderful Bill Brown, Sir William Brown, who ran it from 1966. Lord Thompson, Roy Thompson set it up. And uh, you had programmes like uh, the One O'Clock Gang. And then they went on and they made um, Take the High Road, all these lots of programs, Taggart, wonderful stuff, and had us all on the edge of our seats. We love Taggart. Uh, Alan McGee, dinky do. I agree, Scotty, says Alexander Hunter. Absolutely. Why can, can't you join Go Radio in Glasgow? Well, when the first um, sort of uh, uh, review of Go Radio started, you know, um, I uh, remember being approached and there's a lovely picture of me with a Go Radio mug. But I haven't heard from anybody at Go Radio since. So we'll see what's happening there. Scotty, you might have missed my comment. Should Scotland have their own currency? Re the fiasco with the EU. Michael Paul McVeigh, forgive me. Um, there's Carmack McCusker, dinky do. Michael Paul McVeigh, do forgive me. Yes, I did miss your comment. Um, Scotland could well have their own currency, the pound Scots. And uh, it could be pegged to sterling or it might float. Now, the thing is, in 1707, when the union happened, when the two parliaments joined together, the pound Scots had to be devalued to be brought into line with the English pound. And I can remember touring Ireland when they had the punt. Wonderful. Uh, thanks, Scotty. I only listen to speech radio, i.e. LBC, talk radio, and Five Live. Well, these are all excellent channels, of course. I quite like, and we listen to them as well. I don't mind fessing up. Um, is Mr. Abley still alive? Um, I'm not sure, Gemma. I remember Alan Stewart. I've not heard about him. Yes, wonderful um, um, comedian and entertainer. Uh, I remember the old TV test card with the little girl. I think there was a clown too. You're quite right. And I remember seeing the little girl on a, a talk show um, when she was a good bit older. Fantastic. The test card, very, very good for the engineers to line up their cameras because you could get a bit of burn on camera. It's called camera burn, and it kind of misted up the lens. So they used to... Uh, calm everything down, cool everything down, and uh, train them on the test card just to kind of let the camera get a wee bit of a break. Neil Holgate is watching, dinky do. Uh, thank you, says Michael Paul McVay. No, not at all. And as I say, uh, please don't think there was any arrogance in that. I just wish people would come and speak to me if they're setting up radio or television stations, because the next thing is you see they've closed down and uh, nobody's been uh, been near me. Uh, I remember something early before TV started up in the 80s. It was a big IBA transmitter information thing. Yes, the Independent Broadcasting Authority would, um, would put 
their uh, caption up in the morning and it would be running and then uh, up would come, if it was Scottish television, the theme tune for starting up 100 Pipers. And there's a man watching that used to actually be in charge of playing all that out. And then we would open up and inform the viewers what was happening. So I would pop up and say, very good morning to you and welcome to our programs for this Monday morning. And then we'd uh, give everybody a wee chat about what was on. And they would say, but now it's time for our programs for schools and colleges. And that was that. Uh, what about the new Pure Radio for you, Scotty? Yes, Pure Radio, that's another one that's started up, of course, big digital stations. Very, very good. And, uh, you know, I'm sure all these things are very good for Scotland, but we need our own news, our own newspapers. Uh, so there we are. I used to listen to Mr. Reby and Radio Clyde. Uh, so Tony Mac, sadly, he has passed away and is with us no more, Mr. Davy. Great stuff. All of the Radio Clyde. Does anybody remember the wonderful Frank Skerritt? And that was another thing we did in ITV. We would advertise the local radio stations in the evening. So uh, a Scottish television, we would say uh, Scottish television's closing down for the evening. But, of course, you can join local radio, Radio Clyde in the West and uh, Radio Forth in the East. And I was very privileged. I got to work for both these wonderful radio stations. Marvellous stuff. The Clyde Cayley with Scotty McClue. I'm sure you all remember that. And the Radio 4 phone in on a Sunday morning. Now, I was wondering, Sunday morning, would that be a good time for us to do our, uh, our pop-ups? Do tell me what you think. That's amazing. Thanks for your awesome memories of TV, Scotty. And, of course, there was the BBC, BBC Scotland. Wonderful stuff at Queen Margaret Drive there. Uh, Scotty, what happened to L107? Loved that station. It served the country. I mean, Neil Mills, sadly, we had a stewardship problem. So there we are. And uh, unfortunately, I lost a lot of investment in that through the stewardship problem. But uh, But there it goes. What can you do? One has to press on, I say. Uh, but that uh, could have been a wonderful, wonderful station and could have still been on air, as I say, had we not had a stewardship problem. But there we go. What can one do? Now, um, what else is happening? Um, oh, yes. More sharing. Let everybody know what's happening. Can you all share, please? Can we tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10? Um, I loved that station because it served the country I'm in. Yes, absolutely. It was very much a Scottish station, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, playing fantastic music. And um, it was uh, owned by a Scot and uh, run by a Scot and uh, presented by Scots. So the recipe was fantastic, as I say, had we not had that problem. And Nikki Harvey winning, dinky do. I think the Archers have a brilliant radio theme. Da, 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 da. Yes, absolutely. Been around for years, the Archers, tremendous. And um, one of our colleagues who worked in television continuity went on to be a long term uh, actor in the Archers, if I remember correctly. I I R C. Uh, do you use that one? Do you use that one when you're doing text speak? Do you use IIRC? Remember, you can also join Scotty McClue on uh, TikTok. You can join me on Twitter. Now, I sent out a tweet uh, last night. Within minutes, 5,500 people had seen it. Just within, I think it was two minutes, 5,500 people had seen it. Fantastic. Uh, the Shorts Transmitters are world-renowned, seen for miles. Um, I know I'm home when I'm flying back to Glasgow. Yes, absolutely, Michael Paul McVeigh. And it's interesting because when I was working down at uh, Hallam FM and I would drive up on a Saturday night because uh, I had, I think I took the Friday off and I had a show on a Saturday night and two shows on a Sunday, one in Glasgow and, uh, sorry, one in Edinburgh and one in Sheffield. And I would drive back down on a Sunday afternoon. So there was a lot of driving involved, but it was a great comfort to me. I would walk the dog 
after the show finished at one o'clock in Sheffield on a Thursday evening, Thursday morning, one o'clock on a Thursday morning, walk the dog, and then I would drive to Glasgow, and I would drive across the moors and see Emily Moore, which was the mast for Yorkshire Television. Still is, of course. And um, although they're all ITV companies. And then I would drive across the Pennines, carry on, and I would see Winter Hill, which was the mast for Granada Television. And then I would drive up the motorway and I would see Caldbeck, which was the mast for Border Television. Then I would drive further up, and of course I would see uh, Black Hill and Kirkushots. Black Hill was ITV, was STV's mast, and Kirkushots was the uh, the other one for the BBC. Loved listening to L107 with Big Bella Free Bothwell phoning in, Tommy the Commie, Wolfgang, and all the others. What happened to Bam Bam, a.k.a. Tommy the Commie from Glasgow? Haven't heard a peep from Tommy for years. I always found it funny how the old BBC announcers spoke with an old posh accent. It's good there's more regional accents on the airways. Well, yes, but we enjoyed. Let me see if I can do an impersonation of, of, for you. Let me have a wee, a wee look here. Hold on. See what I've got. What you need... Um, and you should teach your youngsters this. You need a... Oh, my goodness, this is full of stuff. You need something like that, um, which is a... Oh, my goodness me. Somebody's left an old paper. You need something like that. Um, so you need a, a vessel that works as um, a resonator. And you can do the old... Um, this is the BBC Home Service. And now, the news. Tonight, Mr. Hitler has... <laughs> and they used to just talk to that during the war. Fantastic stuff. Uh, did BBC Scotland launch at Kirkushots? I think it actually did the first songs of praise. Uh, Dr. Ronald Faulkner was the head of religious broadcasting at BBC Scotland, Ronnie. And uh, he'd been a minister out at Coatbridge. And um, the uh, previous controller of Eve Scotland, Melville Dinwiddie, had been the minister of St. Macher's Cathedral in Aberdeen. So there you are. So the, you know, these amazing characters. And religion was very big in Scotland, of course, at the time. So they went to the wee kirk at Kirk of Shots, and I believe that was the first songs of praise uh, that came out uh, handy for the transmitter. Fantastic stuff. Evening, Scotty. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Derek Walker. Yes, absolutely. Do, please. And can we get sharing, guys? Let's get the numbers up a bit here. Very, very important. So there we are. I shall share. And uh, we'll get the numbers up. Share to the public. Share your story now to the public. Fantastic. Right. That should be popping up with you. And if the rest of you can go sharing as well, that would be tremendous. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. There we are. That's it all shared. A very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's pop-up live on Facebook Live. That is the big one. The one everyone's talking about. The one everyone is listening to. Uh, wonderful Gordon Roddick says, I was at the BBC last week for Tony Curry's leaving party. He was announcing on BBC Scotland for 21 years. Before that, he was with STV. Yes, good friend of mine, Tony. Terrific character and uh, has given uh, a long life of service to broadcasting. Fantastic. So there we are. And I believe, I think he has his own radio station as well, if I remember correctly. I, I, RC, and I wish Tony all the very best and a long and happy retirement because I knew he'd, um, he'd been unwell because it was in the papers. Um, he took uh, a heart attack, I believe. In fact, I think he took more than one. So we send um, love and blessings to the wonderful Tony Curry. Excellent stuff. Dinky-doo, Tony. If you're watching right now, we wish you all the best. Now then, um, and um, those of you who know Tony can, of course, pass on our regards from everybody on Facebook. Fantastic. Now then, um, 
how, how, how are we doing for time? Oh, it's time I wasn't here, my goodness me. I shall need to dash. But what a wonderful pop-up it's been. Great to be talking about all these things. Do you think we should be ringing Big Ben next Friday in celebration of leaving the EU? Or do you think we should be having two minutes silence uh, and um, reflecting on our mistake? I, I think of the wonderful John Dunn, who was a reverend gentleman and a great poet. And it was a ceremony, a sermon, a ceremony, a sermon, I think it was in 1623, IIRC, if I remember correctly. And he wrote that wonderful poem, um, Tremendous for whom the bell tolls, you know? And that was part of a sermon. And uh, no man is an island. You know, man is part of a continent. And then it finishes up, ask not for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. Look it up. John Dunn, poet. 1600s, so there you are, is it D-U-N-N-E? -N -N -E. um, they were wonderful. Now, um, what have we got here? Eating a pot pie and peanuts. Had haggis last night for Rabbi's birthday, says Derek Walker. Dinky do, Derek. Yes, ring it loud and proud, says Neil Mills Jr. Well, Neil, think about what you're doing. We're coming out of a market, the world's top trading block of 510 million people and um, 28 countries who have been acting for us and have brought us tremendous peace and prosperity for 50 years. And four countries have been brought out, three against their will. So it's going to be interesting on a 2.5 million majority. 70, almost 70 million live in this country. In a few years' time, there'll be definitely 70 million. Been enjoying the Celtic Connections coverage, helping involved with radio coverage. Good for you, Tony. You keep that up, my boy. So ring it loud and proud. So there's Neil Mills. And uh, so I am wondering. Night, Scotty. Loved your BBC voice. <laughs> Dinky do, Tony. And uh, take great care of yourselves. Until we all meet again, this is Scotty McClue saying Dinky do to every single one of you. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vitor zain au revoir. And a cheerio. Spread the word. Tell ten to tell ten. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo.